Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Metabots Rakusho's post game. In the last part, we went around Riverview City, Fort Fiun, and now we're back in Coding Kingdom to get more parts and rally pieces. However, I should go over some minor changes that have happened in Coding Kingdom since we were last here. First off, the shop now sells the entire lineup of flat stick parts, so if you somehow don't have a full set of those by now, you can easily get them here. Next up is something I'm actually not going to show off, but one of the boys here in the Coding Kingdom town section you can fight. Uh, they'll have an Orkumar, Kuraba, and a Moai. And, well, you can fight them infinitely. If you somehow traded in your only Moai head, if you didn't already have multiple by this point for some reason, uh, you can get them infinitely there. Let's go talk to the Chamberlain, though. Oh, well, well, if it isn't our hero. Those mischief makers are gone and our country is at peace. Even our princess has become a little more ladylike. <laughs> Ever so slightly evil sounding. Hey, Cafe Olay! Wait, Mockingbird! I said wait! I told you wait! You know, that's wholly unrealistic. No kid would let their friend get that far ahead of them. Yeah, she's an example of perfect grace. Perfect of grace. Uh, that's another one for the grammar error charts. Well, she needs a little work. Mind you, this game's grammar error chart is nowhere near as high in number as, uh, Battle Network 4. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, the Battle Network games all had their typos, but 4 was especially bad with it. By the way, let's go talk to Margarita over in the garden area, because, well, that's where she is still. I think you can also fight Cafe Olay here if you want to. So, uh, that's there. Uh, her team, like otherwise, though, is unchanged. Three Utopians. Hey, Margarita! Oh, great hero, you came! You know, I have something I want to give you, hero. What's that? It's meta parts, but... What's wrong? Mockingbird ran off with the meta parts. Mockingbird? Uh, actually, it's Cafe Olay's older brother's... Uh, older brother's... Child's twin's wife's cousin, I think? You've got to be kidding me! Hey, Margarita? How many other Metabots are like Cafe Ole? One, two, three, four, forty... I really don't know. Th that many? Never mind that. Where's Mockingbird? She's always going here and going there. I heard she's at the small isolated island. The small isolated island. Should I go check it out? Maybe she ran away because I wasn't playing with her enough. You have to remember to play with your friends too, hero. I haven't taken Salty out for a walk in a long time. Yeah, it's been at least since yesterday or the day before because, God, this game's time span is weird. It's been at least two days and he's done a lot. That's only going based off how much we've seen him sleep. Either way, we need to go to the small isolated island and you probably remember where that is. It's where we actually fought Cafe Ole back when we were here for plot. However, we want to do something first. Uh, since we now have Aquamar, we can periscope through this ocean. And there's a good reason to do so. You might see these boxes that are on the islands. I commented on these, I think, I believe. And within them are meta parts. Uh, nothing revolutionary. In fact, I think we already have most, if not all, of these parts already. But it's still good to get them. Also, obviously, uh, I mentioned back when we were here for plot that you didn't really have another opportunity to come back here to get the meta parts that you can get from the battles here for a while. Now you can finally get the meta parts from Coding Kingdom again. Huh? Pop and I? It's just meta parts. That's weird. I believe that Cafe Olay Utopian on screen uh, will actually tell you that, hey, that box is suspicious. Indeed it is. So now let's head on over to the island, but first let's go talk to that Utopian that's on screen right now. It's a dead end. Gibson is in trouble now. Um. Hey, how's it going? I'm Gibson. Let's celebrate our first meeting together. Here, take this. And we get the gold black lure. That is another bonus item that doesn't do anything aside from be cool. I do have to wonder if there was like some intended purpose for these or something, but I have no way of knowing. And ah, uh, there's that weird screen resolution again. It's the ocean. It's the ocean. You're not Mockingbird by any chance. That's me. Do you like the ocean? Yes and no, actually, if I'm going to get personal here, because uh, the ocean immensely interests me from a scientific perspective, but because of that same scientific perspective, it terrifies the hell out of me, because we know so little about it compared to space. But uh, I'll just say yes. Then let's row battle. 
I'm editing this fight out. It is a usual utopian fight. Uh, Anti-air is good as usual. Victory armors are basically necessary. Margaret is very worried about you, so go on home. Is that so? Looks like I have no choice. It's nice weather after all. Might as well. See you later. Talking like this is really wearing me out. Oh, and also I've neglected to mention, Hachiro's somehow here. Well, well, if it isn't Iki. There really is a nice, this is a, there really is a nice place, isn't it? What? Hey, is that Iki? Hachiro, uh, uh, how did you get here? I came on vacation, of course. Then I found these really good meta parts. Oh, that's, ah, you want this? I don't mind, but only if you beat me in a row battle. And we need to fight Hachiro again. I actually don't think you need to fight Mockingbird at all in order to do this, but it's recommended to fight Mockingbird anyway. Either way, we're fighting Hachiro once again, and I normally in the main storyline would have edited this out, but this is technically the boss why we need to get the parts, so, uh, welp. Uh, this is probably the easiest fight against Hachiro in the game, though, because all three of his metabots have a distinct land disadvantage uh, due to being real-type metabots on an ocean, uh, whereas I have C-type leg parts, and uh, that all goes from there. Uh, strategy is the same from when we fought him in the school, like, two parts ago or so. Uh, can't defend parts, as usual. Uh, counterattack, just to speed things up, all that jazz. Speed up theme for this part, even though I think this is the only fight we end up speeding up, is Area 1 from Blaster Master Zero, the, the remake of the original game on the Switch and 3DS, which is a damn solid remake. Oh my god, I love it. Uh, extra characters are also pretty fun in it. Uh, my favorite being uh, probably Gunvolt so far. I am glad you don't have to fight Hachiro as much in post-game as you did during the main game, but I still think they made you fight him way too many times in the main game. Uh, I guess it was to tell you that, hey, armor paradines are really annoying, so try and get their parts so you can make yourself very annoying, but, eh. Mind you, something I have actually very little experience with in this game's case is the multiplayer, because, uh, I was the only one of my friends that owned this game, so I didn't really get a chance to test it out. By the way, Hachiro's nothing new at this point. Uh, at this point, you probably should have all of his parts down for the count, so nothing too bad. You're pretty strong, aren't you? Okay, okay, now hand over the meta parts. And we get the helming. I love being on vacation. Uh, how do you get here? As long as you have money, you can do anything. Uh, no way. With that, we're done on this side of the Coding Kingdom, so we can use the Silver Locket again to actually return to where we entered the Coding Kingdom in last part. And now I want to head back to the garden, because now, as you can see, Mockingbird's here. Hey, Margarita. Hero, Mockingbird came back. Thank you. Let me give you this. And we get a pink flower. That is like the Black Gold Lore, just another collector's item. Might as well show it off, I suppose. Also notable, and I had to convert this in between uh, cuts, we now have all four parts of the Bazelga line, the Helmet, Helmite, Helming, and Hell Chaos, so we have one Metabot down, two to go. The Mega Emperor and the, whatever the name of the other one is. So let's get on back, but you might be wondering how we get back to our timeline. Uh, just talk to this guy. Oh, it's the great hero. Welcome, welcome. Uh, what should I do when I want to go home? <laughs> all right, your rocket only goes one way. Once the locket changes to a rocket, you can't put it in your pocket. But have no fear. The Great Oracle will send you back to your world. Shall I send you back to your world? Yes. And obviously, this works both ways. Uh, once you're back in our own timeline, you can use the Silver Locket to get back here. Overcome the boundaries of time and space and send a hero back to his world! Gotta say, though, it's really weird to see ourselves in that area without wearing the hero armor. By the way, let's go see Salty really quick, because I think we can do something now. Who's a good boy, Salty? You're a good boy! Time for your walk. I believe this will only trigger if you talk to Salty a certain amount of times. Hey, Salty, wait! If you haven't, uh, I think you just have to just either skip this or do it later on. Is he asking me to follow him? Looks like he went off towards the Metabot Museum. I'll go chase after him. The Metabot Museum? Wow, we haven't been there since, like, part one. Ah, memories. What's up, Salty? Rig rear- What? You're going on, lead, Scooby-Doo. Rig rear arf arf? Salty, you want me to dig here? Is that what you said? Okay, it's impossible to dig, but I'll just have a quick look around. 
Oh, I've seen his meta parts before. Could it be the head meta part for the Mega Emperor? Aren't these for the parts in Rally? Wow, good job, Salty. Nobody would have ever found them here, but it's kind of strange. It's different from the hint that was in Meta Shop. This is the one meta part for the parts on Rally you can get one of two ways. And this is obviously the one. The other is if you don't do this. Either way, with Coding Kingdom and Fort Fiyun done, the only two directions we haven't gone from Riverview City now are Metabot Island and Mount Odoro. We're heading over to Metabot Island to get the parts on Rally pieces here first, though. However, one minor distraction I want to go do first is back at the arcade where we had to talk to Erica back when we were first here. You might remember this rapier right in front. Let's talk to him. I was trying to get my stepped animal, but I got this dog outfit. I don't want it, so you can have it. And we get a dog outfit. As with all previous outfits, it's just a costume you can wear. It's weird. It doesn't make us look anything like Salty, like, unlike the description, so I don't know what the, that means, but... Reminds me of that time in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, where Duke Devlin had Joey Wheeler dress up as a dog. Oh, hello there. I'm Kawamura. I've been very successful, so I bought a brand new car! Jealous, aren't you? Uh, what kind of attitude is that? Could it be? You've never seen me on TV! Now, you get two good outcomes out here no matter what. If you say no, he'll give you an autograph and you can just investigate the fountain again. You can sell that autograph for 50 bucks. I want to say I have never seen him on TV, though, because I get a better outcome for that in terms of monetary value. Uh, it doesn't really matter. In fact, this is entirely optional. You don't have to do this at all. I'm just, like, showing off little minor things like this. Also, I gave myself way too much time to explain this. Someone like that must be punished! And then he fights you! He uses three magic clowns, nothing too annoying, especially on the desert field. Eh, give me a break already. Okay, bye. Oh, Jesus, we just killed a man. Oh my god, my brand new car! I won't forget this. What was that? But we apparently get his car, the Spedabot, which, uh, not the best name in retrospect. And we can take this down into that hot mart down there that I completely forget is there for a moment. And do something with it. My reasoning for wandering along like this is that I just remembered I had to talk to a girl after getting it. I forgot that she was actually in the shop. There she is. I heard that this Spedabot will be worth a fortune someday. Oh, that's the one. Hey, would you sell that to me? Sure. And we get 100 bucks. So, if we're doing that extra battle, you not only get experience points, but 50 more dollars in return. That's pretty worth it in my eyes. And now, as for where we need to go for parts and rally pieces, we can either go to the surprise site back where we did the tournament, or up here to Milky's Castle. If I hide under th this under the tree, it'll get all muddy. I'll get all muddy. Sorry. What the... That's remotely suspicious, so let's follow him. This place is too many people. Oh yeah, I'll go underground. You know, the way the underground's actually through the top right, not to the left, unless you have a periscope. What the... Well, we might as... Uh, if he's heading underground, that means he's heading to the Rubber Robo area, then if he's not going towards Milky's prison, so... Let's head on over there. Obviously, you can take either path to get there. It's actually a bit faster to go left, I believe, because then you can just uh, periscope through there. Whoops, not here. I almost got lost for a second. What the? And now we need to go through the final area again. Um, the fights here are unchanged. Just make sure to keep the floors in mind in terms of what they have for uh, fields. I think this is uh, no good. Someone will find it easily. I'll bring it to the lowest level. I believe it goes uh, desert, plain, uh, desert forest underwater. What the? You know, I have to wonder how many people even know that this is here. And even then, shouldn't this technically be under, not quarantine, but, uh, closure by the Select Corps? Mind you, they're a pretty crap police force, so I guess that explains why anyone can get in at this point. You still need to be able to remember how to do these puzzles, but honestly, it's nothing too big. He is exactly where you think he is, though. He's down at the sea slug, uh, acid thing. Here we go! Okay, nobody will ever find... Hey, mister, what you doing? Er... Nothing at all. I'm doing a whole lot of nothing. Very suspicious. Eh, well, it's too late now. 
I can't have any witnesses, so I'll just take care of you right here. And we get to fight this guy, an Octoclam and two uh, Digmals? No, not Digmals. I forget the name of these guys, honestly. Uh, it doesn't matter, though, because this is a pretty easy fight. Uh, I don't have the correct legs on, and that's honestly uh, made me panic a little bit because I forgot to do that. But you don't have much to fear here. Uh, especially... Uh, Roller Man, first off, that's the name of the other Metabot. Especially when the leader does something very stupid and uses their head meta part on a Metabot with a counterattack active. You know, for a scientist, you're a dumbass. I, I did have a hearty laugh when that happened, though. Ah, I love stupid AI. Ah, why did you beat me so badly? I was just doing my part-time job and... and... What was that? Oh well, let's go get the thing. We need to use Akamar to get into the water again, but we can come down here and get... In this place where Seasuck drowned earlier... The Cherub Hand, the next meta part for the, for the parts on Rally. You know, thinking about it, why'd they even have that scientist there other than be the boss fight of this thing? Because they mentioned directly in the hit that it's in that pool, so what the hell? Either way, with that and me struggling to figure out this puzzle again for some reason, I'm gonna end this off here. Thank you guys for watching, and in part 35, uh, part 5 of the post game, we are going to be continue on finding the next Parts on Rally meta part here on Metabot Island, and then heading off towards an actual new destination for a change. See you guys then.